to the Comedy Store Podcast. That's Jesus Trejo looking at himself right now. Guys, I'm so excited to have you. Give it up for Jesus Trejo. Woo, 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 woo. That is a live audience. That is not a sound effects. Yes. In the back. We bring Comedy a Store. live audience with us. Comedy Store got a budget for the audience. You uh. look so cute. Are you, co- are you cold? Are you going to be warm in that hat? <laughs> I'm worried That's about a, you. You look like a longshoreman, a Mexican longshoreman. I, I, I remember I like a, a friend of mine commented on a video. He goes, every time I see you, like, you're either doing a video or you're on set, you have a beanie and a jacket. He's like, yeah. I don't know if it's cold or hot out there in California. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> hey, like, we, I, we keep them guessing. Yeah, just, That's what it is. Just see how, like, shiny this part is. It's like the sweat. Who needs out. Botox when we can sweat? <laughs> hey. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the whistle. Uh, you know, it's it, it's so funny. Thank you for the water. This is great. I mean, I know, right? The you, comedy store water, yeah. water, water. Okay, going, let's talk about this, huh? <laughs> I, I've been hanging out in Philly a lot, and I apologize for that. This is water for anybody. As someone who mispronounces words a lot, I like the way you say water. <laughs> <laughs> what words do you mispronounce? Do you, um, does it bother you when you do it? Or yes, and there's certain words that just kind of hit me. I'm like, man, why can I? Why can I say that? And it's, uh, um, I can't think of any right now, but I'm sure. Funeral. Has, funeral. My sister can't say that. Funeral. That's why I picked it. Yeah. And water. Water, we can say. We just put two O's and a D in it, and everybody's uncomfortable. Water. But <laughs> so if it's the summertime. We'll go get water ice if you want. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sometimes I, uh, I, I mispronounce the. I mispronounce the syllables. Like, uh, I catch myself, instead of saying refrigerator, is uh, refrigerator. You know, it's like, oh. the tonally, I sure. say it incorrect, but I don't know, It's uh, the cadence is maybe what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> refrigerator. <laughs> Where'd you, refrigerator. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, refrigerator. Refrigerator. The fridge. The fridge. We would say the fridge. I feel like I had an extra. Is your fridge, fridge. running? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Refrigerator. Refrigerator. <laughs> right here, right now. Refrigerator. Uh, refrigerator. Thank you so much for, for uh, having me. This oh, is I'm excited. You haven't been on in a while, and we love having you, of course. Sorry, Ricky's not here, but we no. didn't even put a chair in his honor this time. <laughs> this is what happens if you have kids. Right you here. stop showing up. Oh, and, okay. <laughs> no, it's... Um, you know, end of school, all that shit. Yeah. So. Well, shout out to Rick. It's tough, but we miss you, Ricky. And um, yeah, you guys, he loves you. So I think he's so funny. He's one of those comics where, like, when I see him on the lineup, it's like, I want to be in the room. I want to see what he's what he's doing. He's so quick. And, yeah. you know, even when I was a door guy here, I remember, like, just taking a second to go in the room and, and seeing him work because it was just so different. You know, he's so fun. He's always been doing that. I mean, since I was a door guy here. Yeah. And, and, and to see him, do it at such a high level like it, it, it was like always different you know and to me that was such a like here i am trying to write a bit you know trying to right, right. but but for him it was like he was killing he yeah. it, it was like he, like killing killing with with new stuff quite frankly every time you saw him on stage so it was always really cool and he was always nice you know as as someone who used to work the door he was always kind of like you know, yeah, the, we we had the door guy thing we've always had the door well, guy well that's thing. our our uh, that's the, our love for the store in that and why we do this podcast is because we were here so long. Like, especially we were here during the dead years. Right. I was here before it died and then after it died and during it was dead. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was here like, like I, I came in when. What, yeah, me, what year did you start? Um, so I know I got past September 7, 2012. Oh, okay. so oh, worked, that's a good year. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. September 7, 2012. That was my first paid regular spot. So I always say that that's when I got past. Um, but that's that's when it was coming back. Like it was. Yeah, it was coming back. You're right because so you were passed by Adam or Tommy. Uh, Tommy. So then he got fired shortly after. Shortly after that, because Adam was still Adam, the manager. Yeah, Adam and um, and uh, Dean Dean Cuisine was uh, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro, they're the ones that did the paperwork. That. Yeah, Dean Cuisine. Dean Cuisine. Dean Boyardo. Wait, Chef Boyardine. Is Chef another Boyardine, one. yeah. <laughs> That's another one they used to call uh, him. Dean Cuisine. So he was the one that kind of did the paperwork. <laughs> People are like, who, who is this person? And, 
an uh, old manager, but he also grew up with Pauly. He did, yeah. So he was very close with the family, and Mitzi, Mitzi would go, I can't stand him. And Pauly's like, great, we're going to have him as a manager. <laughs> She'd be like, okay. But, like, yeah. it's just because he was so... Dean was so sweet. He was mm -hmm. like a pushover, and she didn't like that. She needed somebody to like be cutthroat, so she used to shit on him a lot. Yeah, he was. He, but he would just smile, and she'd be like, "Whatever." You know, he kind of <laughs> had this thing of just, just smiling yeah. off to the sides, and it's just no like, matter what building could be on fire, bro. We nobody likes fire. I what? <laughs> Like, he, he was so fucking funny. Nobody likes fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It could be the gnarliest shit. And he's like. <laughs> What's going on? You know, it's just kind of, I was like, yeah. I don't know, man. You tell me you're the manager. What do you want, you know? Jeff Danish and Ryan O'Neill, when they were door guys, some mm -hmm. guy wanted to uh, take his bike and ride it down the ramp. You know where it says Mitzi only for her parking? Oh, oh no. <laughs> See? <laughs> they wanted to go down that ramp. And Jeff and Ryan were like, yeah, absolutely. You know, because they're That's idiots. like a 40 degree, like, down. It's, it's not even 40. It's it's 30 degrees, I think. It, it, it's it's yeah, bad. Yeah. I don't know math, but it's straight. Yeah. It's, it's not as 90, gay as this 90, 45, shirt. It, it, it's like, here. It's yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, would just, you would just plant. Like, you wouldn't even... Wow. So they're like, yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. And the guy's like ready to do it. And Dean comes out. He's like, bro, not cool. <laughs> not cool, man. Like, and the kid's like, so can I do it or not? He's like, no, <laughs> Can I man. do it or not? That's so funny. He's still like, <laughs> I hear you. I, I, I can see you're upset, but can I do this? <laughs> Just want to make sure. I didn't, I didn't hear a no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like the, the, the flight attendant where you have to verbally say yes. You yeah, know, yeah. You can operate yeah. the door. You can't. Just so is it mind. a verbal no? I can't do the thing. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. So so Chef Bardeen and um, Adam were the managers. They did the paperwork. Yeah, they did the paperwork when I got hired. Um, did you work the door? Did they ask you to work the door? Yeah. Or were you already working the door? No. So so Tommy was. So I was like to get past. So so when I first started. Mm -hmm. I was I was floating around and I was doing all the shifts. So the first shift I ever got was because Davey Wester, <laughs> my homie. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so love you, Davey. Davey Wester in the building. Shout out. Shout out. Um, so, <laughs> Sorry. For so, you. so so Davey Wester was working. He uh, he was gonna work, I think, with John Reap in La Jolla that weekend. <laughs> so they needed to have somebody work. Uh, the back door. So I'm I'm shadowing him, and uh, I I remember it was like, hey, you're hired. D uh, Tommy was like, Davey's gonna tell you what to do. So, you know, you know, you know, we're walking around. He goes, all right, man. You just so kinda... Davey, you can explain Davey's handicap. What uh, cerebral palsy? Yes. Is that right? Cerebral palsy. Uh, so yeah, cerebral palsy. But like. A ghetto, like a, a white truck. What do you call that? He's like, from Washington, right? Grew up yeah. on a potato farm. <laughs> really funny. I mean, he, so fucking funny. He, he was already passed. Yeah. So yeah. He, he was passed. And I think Mitzi made the exception that he was the only paid regular that still worked here, you know, so he could get, uh, yeah. uh, you know, some hours on the clock. He would do paid regular to make spots. Money. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. make money. So. So he's training me on what to do, and he like we go, we go back there, and he goes, "You got to grab the ladder." So you know, I grab the ladder. I'm I'm taking the ladder out. We have to put up the marquee, and he goes, "All right, set the ladder up." And I'm like, "You're not gonna go up there, are you?" You know, I, I you know I'm seeing him stomping around. I'm like, "You can't go up there." He hey. goes, "No, you are." I'm like, "Oh, I am." So I started, you know, I I put up the marquee my first night here. I have pictures of that. Okay. Of, of me putting up the marquee. And Do you remember whose name you were putting on? Oh, I, I... Because back then, also, we only had the letters. We had letters, and only a few people had sliders. Yeah, very, very few sliders. Yeah, it, it was a big deal to, as a paid regular, have the sliders. Like, you know, like your Bobby Lee's had a slider. Argus yeah, yeah. had a, a slider, you know, so... Um, I, I do remember having to like come out with stacks of letters, like this is for this comic, this is for another comic, and sure enough, it'd be some drunk guy walking on a thing, starts shuffling your letters. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I gotta start Love all over fucker. again. Um, so I you remember put doing Steve that. Steve Ranazizi. <laughs> oh, what a nightmare of a name. Is is it seven Z's? Oh no, I gotta go back, <laughs> googling stuff out there. So I would do the marquee. I would uh, I, I would uh, sit people in the OR. Right. I would sit people in the main room because they only did weekend shows there, Friday and Saturday. Yeah. They didn't do week stuff except for Tuesdays. Um, and then... Was tripping back then? Tripping? Yeah, uh, tripping on Tuesdays. Um, and then um, 
I did the lot. So the lot is basically what I did the most. But yeah. I did pick up some shifts. I remember during that time uh, with Juan Carlos during the day doing uh, uh, maintenance work. No, so I, like, that is I, so stereotypical. I, 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 Ooh, I mean, they're like, you go do this, you know. But I was like helping them. It was like certain days. It wasn't a whole lot. But my, my main favorite. thing. My main thing was the other stereotypical job was the valet, you know, yeah, yeah, parking yeah, cars. So. But everybody did that, so I don't I don't consider that. But not, very few had to work with Juan Carlos. Yes. I did, but you did too. well, I was a day I was here during the day. I was Mitzi's assistant. So I would call mm -hmm. Juan Carlos to do stuff or help him with stuff and he'd go, The problem is, Miss <laughs> Mitzi, you know, like every day. <laughs> like the problem is I'm not an electrician, and then the fucking <laughs> thing would blow up and you're like, Whoa, we have fireworks at the store. That's funny. You know, I mean, he was so sweet. He would do anything. Any, he's still here. You know what I love about Juan Carlos? That people don't know that, like, how how talented he is. It's like, yeah. every time you see something new with the store, it's like, Juan Carlos is doing that. Like, Just uh, by himself. By himself. The stitching in the seats, straightening out, a, like, a chair that got bent, uh, the hallway, the bathroom uh, yeah. renovation that happened here in the hallway. There used to be two bathrooms in the hallway facing the entrance of the OR. And I have a story, you the know, best, that. the best, the single bathrooms. I hate these new prison bathrooms. I don't know if <laughs> we can talk to upper management and get rid of them. That's disgusting, and I hate them. Bring back the singles. We'll so, work on it. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, but Juan Carlos, you know, he's a, such an amazing, talented man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but he's like, hey, we got to empty. You know, we could we could break this wall down and make this yeah that easy and then that single bathroom that handicapped bathroom the little bigger one in the, the one main in the main room. room yeah hey that's that's empty space Juan Carlos knocked it down you know that yeah. quick the bathroom wasn't supposed to go there but no. there's a bathroom there there's a yeah. bathroom there now so the problem actually, is <laughs> Miss Mitzi you know <laughs> the best if, if, if you look at this place it really is like Juan Carlos is like running uh, art piece you know absolutely he's, he's morphed it from from Ciro's His era. name's on the wall. His name's on the wall, and it, he's morphed it from whatever it was back in the day to what it is now, yeah. what people know and love. That's all Juan Carlos, so it's very impressive. And um, So you're working with him, you're doing, this, just to pick up extra shifts, this is all for, you need money. Yeah, yeah, I need money, sure. so I'm, I'm coming in during the day, um, you know, just kind of helping out, maybe like uh, vacuuming or like uh, yeah. sweeping or that kind of thing, cleaning a little something. So it, it, it was just a couple days and then um, mainly it was uh, working the back door and parking lot. I remember one time the the bathrooms got clogged up. The 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 single bathrooms, right? Oh, I've seen the it. women's bathroom used to get clogged up a lot. Yeah. So we're Adam a used to like put a sign on it. He goes, oh, it's clogged. You know, tell people they can't use it. You know, bro. Oh yeah. no, that's Dean. No, wait, wait, wait. No. Adam, Adam Eget. Like, yeah. Don't tell them they can't use it. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do. It's I so need you to go in there and clean it, man. They probably put a tampon down there. There's bleeding so one bitches. time it uh, clogged up bad. Yeah, yeah. And there's a floaty. There's there's a there's a buttery Lincoln log floaty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Buttery, huh? And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm talking like 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 candy bar left in the car buttery. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's uncomfortable. Oh, uh, it just looks gnarly. Yeah. And a uh, floaty, it overfills. Water's coming out. And at the time, there wasn't any carpet there on the on the what yeah, you yeah. call it. Um, yeah, there was no carpet. It was like, so I had to close it, and I'm. Oh, yeah, we had the. They they put the carpet for a while. That was the no, worst. No good. No good. Not with those. Not not with that plumbing. No, and then. <laughs> and uh, so I'm kicking a turd down the hallway. Oh. And I have like my doing. Uh, like Bill careful. Murray in Caddyshack. This here. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. And uh, they got the orange sign. I mean, I mean the yellow sign that says slippery. I was like, oh, yeah. that's the least of your worries. You know? <laughs> and uh, so I'm kicking this thing. And um, I have a picture of that, of me. Of the a, shit? Of, oh. of, of, of me, like, mopping the aftermath of, of skid marks from this uh, melted Lincoln log. You took a picture of yourself? You no, no, no. Somebody took a picture of me, and I still have that picture. That's I remember, so I remember posting it. And uh, you know what was interesting? It was when... The episode of Sullivan and Son yeah, yeah, was yeah. airing, so I had to work, and I was on this show, Steve Byrne's show, and and um, Steve Byrne and uh, Vince Vaughn and uh, yep. Peter Billingsley, and um, so I had to work that day, and I'm cleaning the bathroom, and I'll never forget it. it, it like that's what's so special about the store because you can be in a situation like that and you're like, this sucks, your peers are around. Yeah, Everyone yeah. gets it, but you feel embarrassed that your friends are seeing you have to yeah. do this thing. 
And I remember uh, uh, Neil walked in. He didn't know what was happening. I was already cleaning up. And I have the thing closed off. He's up next, so he has to, like, tippy toe like... Yeah, he's and, like, and he goes, what is this? Hey, I, you know, I checked out your episode. Cool stuff. <laughs> a fist bump me. I'm Good like, man, that is, that is so dope. Good job Sullivan and, back, and son. <laughs> and back to, you know, just mopping. But, you know, those situations were, like, funny. You look That's back and you're like... That's such a genuine store thing. It's like, I mean... You're sweeping shit, which is awful. But the door guys, that's what they did. Door people now. Cause, but uh, we had um, Blake Clark. I don't know if you know who that no. is. But he does. He's an amazing comic. But he, Adam Sandler puts him in every movie. Mm. Like he's been in Water Boy. Like so many different movies. And um, he, uh, he was on The Tonight Show, mm. which was a big deal back in the day. Still is. I mean, yeah, yeah but... It, it, but back then it was, there was like the four magnet. channels, yeah. 100%. This is, I'm going early 80s. Mm-hmm. And so he, he he was on and he was seating people that night because mm-hmm. he, Mitzi trusted him and gave him the keys to the building like he did. He ran this place. Wow. So he was seating people um, and they're like, God, you look familiar. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, they were, were you on Johnny Carson? Shut. Johnny Carson. And he's like, oh, yeah, last night. Anyway, is it two? <laughs> two in your party? Like, <laughs> God damn it. Like, it's yeah. such a humbling... I know it's a humbling profession, but, like, at the same time, like, if you if your ego gets out of whack, you mm-hmm. get checked quick. Yeah, and I think it's just so special. I mean, I don't know that there's any... Like, I always say this. It's like, I don't think there's any institution in the world that has anything close to what this is to get you ready to go on the road yeah. and... You can produce the show here. You can work the door. You're cutting tickets. You're seating people. You know how the room should be sat. Yeah, that's right. To to to, to get the most conducive um, setup in a stand-up show. Like you see people go up. You see what works. You know how to create lineups. You see what works. You're like, oh, look at this character up front. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's uh, it it really is cool. And and even parking cars. You know, it's like you learn the skill of of. You know, you're the first. I always appreciated working in the lot because I'm like, I got to be friends with a lot of comedians sure. who I respect, love, and you know, I'm I'm friends with everyone that I park cars for. <laughs> you know, back in the day, but it was like I was the first and last comic they yeah. saw. You know, I kept to myself for the most part. It was like, I has it going? And with time, it you know, you never know. You know, so and so might pull in and be like, "How's your day going?" Oh, good. And it, it organically began a a friendship or sure. a conversation. So I was. So grateful for that, for that specific job working as a door guy here. Yeah, I think of uh, Jetski Johnson, who's oh newer God. and so the funny. sweetest, and so funny, and just her parking like Bobby Lee's car mm-hmm. and just like talking to him and riffing with him. She opens for him, and now she's crushing it. Like she's to- she's headlining already. You know what I mean? Like that's so cool. Andrew Santino and Bobby took her, and Bobby Lee took her on the road, and it's just. Yeah. It's blowing up for her. She's yeah. also doing Kill Tony. Like I love it. Yeah, I think it's she. She's uh, yeah, the, and and she parked cars, so it's like yeah. being able to build that rapport with Just comics. It goes shit. a long way. <laughs> I said it's, it's like uh, right now. You said Bobby. I, I remember I fixed Bobby's bumper on his uh, Prius Hilarious. that he had at the. T- so it was like he would come in and it was like always like dragging. <laughs> always. In. And uh, so I'm like, hey, like. Bobby, I can fix that. So I brought zip ties and I just like hooked them up. It, it was banged up pretty good. So I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna snap it in there, but I could yeah. I could zip tie it in there. And it held on for a while and I felt pretty proud of that. And Bobby was like, dude, thanks, man. Like Bobby always looked out for me, you know. It's like I got to open for him and and um, you know, it's like guys like that, I think it, Yeah, Bobby's pretty good. Like g- g- bringing new people out, introducing people yes. around. Very good at that. Very, very good. Were, I won't shit on him this time. <laughs> but don't... Were, were you working the door already when you started touring with uh, Dice? I never worked the door. I was waiting tables. Wait, waiting tables. I'm sorry. That's yeah. okay. I waited tables. And then I was Mitzi's assistant for a while. That's why I would come in during the day and do all kinds of stuff, you know. Um, like, sometimes it felt like I was here 24 hours. Yeah. Like, you know those days where you're just like, am I still here? It's, yeah. Okay. And then, um, you know, uh, 
at, when I first started, like Freddy Soto was the runner mm -hmm. and the door guy. So these were all like my closest. These were the people I started with. So they were like my Johnny Sanchez, Jason Hartz. Like they were my closest friends. And they're still, my, well, you know, uh, mm -hmm. my friend Lauren and Jen. Like we all started together here or whatever. But mm -hmm. so 12 years I waited tables, then left and came back a year later as a comic. That's, I think it's mental illness, but <laughs> it, <laughs> no. I blame Freddie. I always blame Freddie. Oh, my God. You, you know, you mentioned Freddie and, and, you know, people don't know this, but it's, it's, it's like I always would come to you to hear oh, yeah. uh, Freddie's stories, you know, because he was such a big um, inspiration, yeah. you know, to do stand-up. You know, he had a very... Similar relationship with his father on stage. Oh, yeah. And to me, I was like, oh, my God. Like, we have the same dad. And seeing him perform, it was just so... And and, and to know that you were close with him. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And... You just made me think of Mr. Soto, this uh, image I have of him. I pull up to Freddie. Freddie got a new place, kind of like... I was like, where did you find this? Like, to me, it was just... Hollywood, mm -hmm. right? I didn't know anything. <laughs> like, I'm from South Philly. If you ask me to go to, like, Southwest Philly, I'm like, I don't know which way that is. You know what I mean? Right. Like, we stay in our little section. Mm -hmm. So when I moved here, I stay in a little section. And then Freddie moved all the way out. I was like, where the fuck did you <laughs> find this place? But it's not, it was Pasadena. Like, oh. I'm a psycho. I'm like, oh, that's too far. You know, or it could have been Los Feliz. And I would be like, where'd you go? Yeah. You know? But I was, so, it was so confusing. So I, I was like, Fred, I, Freddie was landing and I was going to meet him at his place. So so I'm driving and he was having a garage sale and he's like, you got to help us. I'll, I get in at like 11, whatever. So I go pull up and Mr. Soto, who's supposed to be helping his wife do this garage sale, is sitting on like a, a really small lawn chair, like really small. And yeah. he's just bronzing up. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's got the fucking glasses. He's smoking, wow. okay. and he's just laying back. And he and I go, "Hey, Mr. Soto," and he goes, "Hey, you here to help? <laughs> Are you fucker? That's like, you know, I mean, we were. He was such a character. Yeah. I mean, it was when Freddie pulled up. He could. He couldn't even breathe. He couldn't even breathe. He was laughing so hard. But yeah. uh, you're right. Like that funny. You so talk good. about your dad all the time. I shit on my dad all the time. Well, I don't shit on, but it's funny. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we talk about our experiences growing up, and it, it like it just yeah, we got characters, luckily. Yeah, yeah, and and um, yeah, Freddie Soto. That was like another thing that bonded us. You know, it's yeah. like I, I I I was like a little kid running up to you, like, what story do you got for me? You know, so you're always so generous and so um, so amazing well, to me. You know, well, and, well you're yeah. one of my favorites, but also like he was t to me like I'm mean, obviously we were very close, but like uh, I hate that people don't get to see him. I know. And he would always say to me, like, oh, you should be doing stand-up. You're a dick, man. You could be doing stand-up and get booked on this, that, and the other thing. You know, they'll come out. Just stop doing these fucking plays. Every time I come see you in a play, you're getting raped by the football team. I'm like, what's happening right now? <laughs> I'm like, that's a good play, man. <laughs> like, I was just always, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And so he would make fun of it. And then I did... Uh, after he passed, it like hit me like a year and a half later to start. So I wasn't yeah. the whole time I'm here. The reason me and Mitzi got along so well is because I wasn't a stand up. So it was easy. It right. was I didn't want anything from her, you know. Yeah. So she we could get along no problem. But when I called her and I was like, "Hey, I might come do stand up," she's like, "Oh shit, really?" Like <laughs> she didn't it? like that. She didn't like. Well, the she idea. don't like a waitress turn comic because uh, from my experience, from her. Exp we watched it a million times and we were like, oh, fuck. Every time mm -hmm. I saw it, I'd be like, there goes a waitress. No way. Oh, interesting. There's a, a very few could pull it off. Mm -hmm. Very, very few. So it was, you know, very nerve wracking. I was like, maybe, maybe I stink. I don't know. So I showcased like six months in for her. Wow. And she was like, oh, it's cute, honey. And most people would take that as an insult. But I was like, oh, no, no, that's good. Because she would have been like, get out. Yeah, yeah. Don't come back. Yeah, she was very honest. Right. <laughs> and especially with me, because we, we did a lot together. So she 
she knew how to, but she was like kind of saying you're on to something. Oh, okay. So it was a little bit of hope, you know, and so I just kept doing it. And then Mr. Soto came to, Mr. and Mrs. Soto came to see me in the belly room. And at this point he would have been sick with his cancer. And so, um, them in the belly room laughing and him, he couldn't talk at that point. Mm. And, um, he just, he just nodded like, and I was like, oh, my God, I got the that's, approval of Mr. Soto. Like, that's amazing. such a big deal. Only because I knew what it meant to Freddie. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and just M- Miss Anna, she was always sweet. So she would laugh, you yeah. know. But uh, she, very supportive. Like, you know, it was the ones that don't support you that you want the. Yes. You want the. <laughs> yeah, you want the support. <laughs> that's what yeah. he chased. He chased his whole life. Yeah. So, but whatever. So I, I was glad, like, that I could keep doing it. But it was Freddie in my head saying, give it a shot. Give it a shot. At right. least do the one woman show. Right. And then I didn't do the one woman show. <laughs> I did for a minute. And then Would you ever consider doing it now? I have to get it. I have to do it. Even yeah. if I just write it, I have to do it because um Freddie w- that was like he was yeah. like your stories, your family, your this, that, and the other thing. Yeah, right. It's What's not up? everything. It's a facade here. Yeah, we are. Do you know what I mean? This isn't a real table. <laughs> you have to mime it like <laughs> it's just you're good. It, okay. It's cake, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those. A, here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so we, um, I forgot what I was talking about, but uh, Freddie, oh, the one when mo- I started doing the, I was like, all right, I'll start doing the one woman show. Right. Dice came to see it, and mm-hmm. he was like, you're doing stand-up, stupid. So he, oh. and we had a show on VH1 at the time. <laughs> God bless you. you. I've sneezed on the truth. And so we had a show on VH1 at the time. And he was like, let's go on the road. We can, you know, they know you from the show, me from the show, which isn't necessarily true. But we went on the, meaning they didn't have any idea who the fuck I was. (laughs) They knew Andrew. I think you should totally do the one woman show. I think it would be yeah, great. Yeah, it'd be fun. The belly room, you know, you go uh, uh, take it to Edinburgh. I'm, uh, I'm, I mean, you have some producers back there. Edinburgh, that hey, have you done the Edinburgh? We, me, and me and I Carmen uh, Lynch were talking about that. I want to do it so bad. I, I, I truly want. Or to was do that? It. I don't remember. All right, I don't remember. But what I was but yeah, I think that's the place to do it. You know, we, you know, we have this backing of stand-up comedy. We know what it should sound like, but there's there's a different story to be told. I yeah. think in that setting, and you know, I've 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 looked into it. I, I have a like a. I thing know that Ari I wanted, did it. I know Jessica Michelle Singleton did it. Should totally do it. I I think that would be fun. Yeah, I saw Baby Reindeer, so I could get a series out of it. <laughs> nope. What's okay. that? Baby Reindeer? You don't know what that is? No. Oh, man. On Netflix? Uh-uh. Oh, it's a new show. You should check it out. And then okay. you'll rethink Edinburgh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm huh. just kidding. I'll look into it, yeah. <laughs> but he shows how tough it is. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you're out there barking, getting people to come to your show, trying to get people to believe in you. You know what I mean? Like, just... They just... Yeah. Because they put you in a spot. Like, if you go... It's just me on the road, I guess. What you just described, <laughs> barking. Please come to my show, somebody. <laughs> but you know those like shitty bar shows. Like they could put like this guy. I'm not trying to give it away, but like they put him in this bar, mm-hmm. and there's nobody in there. And then he just starts his show, and they're like, "What the fuck is this?" You know. So then they just walk out. You know what I mean? Like it's a lot of. Mm-hmm. You're like fuck, and you're stuck there for a month in that spot. Wow. So whatever spot you get. That's, that's what you get. That's what you get. Oh. So you have to do your show and get people to come to your show and go promote your show. And Yeah, because if not, if like the goal is to even break even, right? Because you're yeah, selling your own you're, ticket. You're just like, you're experiencing another country, other people, like, you know, trying to get people. I think people know what's going on, but they also get annoyed at what's going on. Yeah. And if it's not good... They're fuck. They're like fuck this. Well, let me rethink it for sure. Yeah, no, you 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 convinced me. Yeah, let me rethink it. No, but I I, <laughs> I think it's a great experience. I think it would be. Uh, talk to Ari. He's yeah. He'll give I, you a fucking pamphlet, Ari. Yeah, I'll, and I'll he's definitely doing a traveling talk. show right now. Kill two birds with one stone. Do his traveling show and then promote your at <laughs> Yeah, I'm going, motherfucker. I'm going, I'm going. Eleanor said not to do it, but I'm here. No, I, I didn't say not <laughs> no, to do it. I said it's going to be tough. Be cautious. <laughs> I said, hold, please. Uh, but you worked other countries. Have you worked in Europe? 
No, I've never worked in Europe. I went Same. to Europe for the first time last year. Uh, it, it was beautiful, but Just I, I to visit uh, on on vacation. Yeah. Wow, you yeah. on vacation? Uh, well, my wife. Okay. You know, it was it, it was okay. it, yeah. It, it was uh, her birthday trip, so she she had been a ton, and I I'd never have been to. And where did you go? We went to Paris. Yeah, we went to Paris. We did, went to... Uh, Sounds fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we went to... Uh, Copenhagen. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Copenhagen was 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 dope. Like, yeah. they were cocky. With, uh, uh, talking about water. Oh, yeah. They're... When we went to, into the hotel, they gave us an empty water bottle, and they're like, we have the best water in the world. It's super clean. Here's a, wa a water bottle. Go fill it up in the bathroom and tell us what you think. And I was like, this is... Beautiful. Fill it um, up in the bathroom. Yeah, well, the the faucet. Yeah, mm -hmm. not in the toilet. You know, <laughs> not, not one that. of those old. Yeah. Our water is clean. <laughs> You're like this reminds me of a job I had at the comedy store. <laughs> How do you cast the water from a bidet? Logs? <laughs> it keeps falling right out. I'm just I'm just rinsing out a bottle. Uh, <laughs> You're using it as a water pick. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we went to uh, Portugal, but I, I do want to work um, Europe. I've I've done stand up in Mexico, yeah, uh, and that was a great experience, you know. Yeah, to, um, you know, down in Spanish, in Spanish, so hard. So right? Monterrey, um, the capital, um, uh, DF, you know, uh, Mexico City. Mm. Um, yeah, I've, I've I've done kind do of. You find it hard to do your stand up to translate it. In Spanish. I, I now do. we're doing a lot of Spanish shows here at the college. Yes. Yes. Like, so I'm doing the 28th. We used to just here. have Taco Tuesday, but yeah. now, <laughs> well, actually Thursday, because we have Fat Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mitzi called it Taco Thursday. So we're I'm I'm doing a, the comedy store is putting on a all Spanish show. Yeah. Um, I'm doing it on the 28th. So come check it out. That's great. But I do find myself that there's some buffering. Yeah, of course. Because even though I was so Spanish is my first language. I was born here. And now I feel like English is my dominant language, so I think in English now. Unless I'm in a role of, like, speaking Spanish, I'm talking to my dad or, you know, like, a family who speaks Spanish, I, I, I have to, like, switch over and then slowly switch back, you know? So if you're going to do, a sh say you have a show tonight in mm -hmm. Spanish, would you spend the day? Yeah. I so actually, smart. Yeah. yeah, so I, I spend the day listening to... Uh, like to interviews or, sure, or watching anything. the news. As long as it's Spanish, you're hearing it and it's changing your... Yeah, as long as it's conversational Spanish, like songs don't count, you know? It's like I have to hear like long form, like a YouTube uh, interview with uh, some old-timey... Uh, Can you put narcos on? That, not, <laughs> there's other stuff on there. Sorry. <laughs> That's my favorite. Philly in the building, baby. <laughs> um yeah, the I, music in Narcos goes. I go crazy for it, 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 the it's opening a good, scene. Uh, song is my favorite. They have amazing music. It's, it's I have more it beautiful. downloaded. Oh, you have the whole thing downloaded. <laughs> Let's play that now. The <laughs> rest of this podcast <laughs> is going to be us enjoying it, just with our eyes closed. Mm -hmm. They got good music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> that's where they killed the gay yeah. guy, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maricon. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's. Um, yeah, Mexico City is is a beautiful city to do stand up, and yeah. stand up is really growing. Like stand up, as we know, it, outside of yeah, yeah, it's taking time, but it's like now you're over the ten year mark with a lot of uh, Mexican stand up comedians, yeah. and there is some amazing talent out there, and and they're really, I mean, they look to American stand up to see what they're doing here, mm -hmm. and you know, everyone's soaking in traditional American stand up, and yeah. Now in Mexico, it's like they got their own thing going. So it's like I, I do see a lot of comedians. There's so many with their own voice. and Yeah. Yeah, just completely amazing. I want to go back. I haven't been back in a while, but I, I'm, I'm due to go back this year. Yeah, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to quit everything. Yeah. I'm going to move to Ireland uh -huh. and figure out, you know, what happened. H how we get over here. Who did this? Figure it out. Yeah. yeah. And then I... Water. I find out that my family's all felons and they all they uh, got kicked out of Ireland. Oh, no. It wasn't the English. It was just a European piece of shit. And, uh, is that a 24 and me uh, type 23. of... 23. I like 24. The, I mean, 24 is for the Irish. <laughs> I'm adding stuff in. <laughs> hey, I don't know what... 24 is extra white. 
<laughs> just, <laughs> for the clear kids, we got to fucking <laughs> do 24. Oh, go to my website. I sell 24 <laughs> and me. <laughs> you send you send a sample and I throw it away. No, it's like, just funnier <laughs> to say four instead of three. 24 and me. <laughs> four. <laughs> that is so I funny. Where did, I, where did I get my... Not only can I mispronounce words, but I get my numbers wrong. <laughs> so I do it all, man. You add it. Maybe that angle was off. Maybe that guy could have weighed it. It's 35. <laughs> he could have made it, fool. <laughs> he could have made it, fool. Hey, hey, that angle was proper, man. That's so funny. <laughs> um, wait, tell me about this show you have. You have a new yes. show out right now. Uh, Eleanor, I'm, like, so excited. Uh Almost five years in the making, you know. Really? Yeah. We started working on it in 2020, and we filmed it last year. We were on the road for like two months of, okay. of, of filming it, and uh, it's called Roots of Comedy with <whistles> Jesus Trejo. Uh, very, very, uh, very excited. It's basically, so the, the show is a docu-series. It's six yeah. episodes, and we follow six comedians. Okay. And basically, the, the idea is that every joke can be traced back to communities, so... You know, you hear a joke, and then you learn more about the comedian, which gives context to their material on stage. Yeah. So, like, um, you know, we went to Texas. We went to uh, Vanessa Gonzalez. You know, she's— uh, Oh, my God. She's hilarious. So freaking Listen, funny. people love her, by the way. She is— I want people So to... funny. Yeah, I'm hearing great things about her. She's insanely funny, super sweet. So, you know, we go down there. That was, uh, you know, that was the first episode, so we go to— uh, we go to Austin. That's where she's at right now. Mm -hmm. And then we go to La Laredo, Texas, and she never had a homecoming show. And I told her, like, in the show, we talk about it. It's like me being from Long Beach, I, I, you know, right. not, not not too far from here. I never had the thing. I, I, I bet you had something like that where it's like you have a homecoming show oh, yeah. where you go home and everybody comes out. It's uh -huh. like, what has so-and-so been doing all these years in yeah, L.A.? Yeah. So we got to see that in real time, her first ever homecoming show. How'd she do? Amazing. That's good because I bombed at one of did mine. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> no. The 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 first one you did, you bombed. No, no. It was it was recently. That's oh. the sad part. It was just a weird setup, and my brother, my brothers were there. Some kids, people I grew up with, uh -huh. people I played softball with, and they were just like. I just can't imagine the pressure. Though. It was it's like, weird. It when, was weird. When it, it's one thing when you have like a friend or a family member that comes to see you and you know they're in the audience, you can get a little nervous. But when you're going back to your home turf, everyone's coming out. That's got to be tough. Yeah, that's got to be tough. And so. it, and we're like hard, you know, we're hardcore inner city kids. So we're just like she's. They probably were like she's saying that story right. Like, you know, oh, you know what I mean. Like they're I saw my know. friend Timmy like thinking about like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then he'd like laugh, but not like laugh, laugh. Like I got a few good laugh, but it, I, I remember being mm. so sweaty and being like, what the fuck? Yeah. But if I go home, like do shows like, ha like if I'm at Helium, and they're not going to go there, you know. <laughs> right, right. That's, <laughs> That's way too far away. It's it's a mile and a half. So why <laughs> we go there, you know. <laughs> it's just the Center City is like, eh. But this one, I kind of was, and it wasn't Center her city but i was like just come and, it, and then another friend was like come on let's go see her you know and they did it and it was i'm telling you it was brutal i still think about it and they probably don't see it that way but whatever so i'm glad i wasn't filming with the roots <laughs> that's funny. roots, roots cloven <laughs> yeah roots of comedy yeah the roots of comedy yeah it was like you know vanessa would just like that episode was so sweet because it like you know, we, we get to know her, how she started and all this stuff. And we go to Laredo, where she's from. And, you know, we see her on stage. She has this wonderful, amazing bit. One of my favorite bits that she does is, you know, how she talks about her parents uh, uh, were Border Patrol agents. And she goes, oh, traders. Shit. And then we get to meet them. And we find the reality. is like it's much more complex than that. And yeah, of it, course. It, it's like her, her, her mom and dad both worked in that line of duty. But it was... You know, it was like, that's the industry in Laredo, yeah. you know? So we get to, like, dive deep. We get to meet her parents who are just the sweetest. And the thing that I like about this show is that, you know, all these comedians open their homes to us. So it's like, we went to Texas for Vanessa Gonzalez. We went to Minneapolis for uh, Ali Sultan. Oh, okay. uh, really amazing episode about, you know, mental health and this kind of thing. And... Um, Tatanka He's great too. I think I think he worked with I think I worked with him in Minnesota, oh, really? in the House of Comedy. 
Oh, okay, Batman. yeah. I'm Batman. Yeah, Maybe Ali Sultan. Yeah, really, really name. funny. I know his, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, we, we, uh, Tatanka Means, who was in that uh, Scorsese movie, The Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh my God, great movie. Great movie. Everyone's saying, whatever, I loved it. Great movie. I took the ride. And and, and he, you know, he's in that movie so as well, okay. stand-up comic. So we got to go down to Chinle, Arizona, and we were on the Navajo Reservation. Wow. And, and um so it's like, yeah, we went to Portland, we went to Denver, uh-huh. um, we, we were here in LA. So, uh, Elon Stribling. Um, so he is, he's Indian, the uh, yeah he, Arizona. Uh, yeah, so uh, Chinle, Arizona, uh, Navajo Reservation. So we go Beautiful. down to where he grew up, and it was it, it was just oh, something so cute. different from what we, I know. We had uh, Charlie Hill. Char- uh, yes, we talked about Charlie Hill okay, with right. with one of the uh, local comedians there. Was, but he's got a lot of kids, so they might have been around. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so we talked with one of the uh, comedians who actually he knew Steve Simone, and and of we course. got the, yeah we got the uh, talking about Steve Simone and shout out Steve Simone, um, the best. So it was cool, you know. We um, you know Sierra Coteau. Um, That's great, though. That's yeah, a good was, idea. Just to it, it was watch fun. it. Yeah, it was fun. So it's six episodes. It's out now. And what? where can people see it? Uh, you can see it on the PBS app. It's for free. So check it out. PBS, oh, wow. um, all six episodes drop. But on Friday the 21st, so this coming Friday is when it it, it, it premieres on all the local PBS channels uh, coast to coast. So yeah. if you're in New York, you can see it for free on, on, on the local PBS channel. Um, so yeah, the 21st, coast to coast. It'll be out, out and about. But you can see it right now, all six episodes. On the PBS hat. Oh my god, I can't yeah. wait to see it. That's yeah, I'm I'm like super excited. I, I I mean Eleanor, I can't tell you it's like to be able to host this thing and you know be an EP oh, on yeah. it. It's it, it's like it, it it's my first big project, you yeah. know, of, of of that caliber that and came to fruition, which doesn't usually happen. We all know this. It takes a long time. <laughs> it finally happened and yeah. And 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 also like I don't know when this is gonna air, but uh, we have until the twenty fourth to get a a uh, a vote. If, if you're in the academy and you can vote, twenty uh, fourth of 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 June. Oh, okay. So if I don't know when this airs, I don't know if we'll make that. Maybe okay. We well, we'll see what happens, you guys. Yeah, we can, we, can, we no, can try. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for not voting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we just bring it to that. We know it's negative. <laughs> so when you're watching this, you should probably know what happened by now. So disregard that last 10 seconds. I'm so sorry about that. No, no. no yeah. okay. That's in five days, man. <laughs> That's in five days. That's in five days. That's fucked up. Oh, shit. I don't even know what day it is. I know I'm flying out yeah, tomorrow. Uh, the 24th. But um, yeah, um, I didn't know it was going to be on there. And then my homie was like, hey, just casted a vote for you. And we're we're up against, uh, we're vote, um, the category that we're on is uh, outstanding, uh, hosted, nonfiction series or special. So that's okay. the category in there okay. we're in. And and uh, the, proj- the, the project is there. Go vote for it. Uh, we're telling some really cool stories. So That's amazing. Yeah. I got to watch it and see. Yes, and then please. I'll vote if I can vote. Yes, 100%. I got to double check into that. Yes. Make sure I can do it right. <laughs> yeah, do it. I'm not good. Somebody sent me something to vote. They're like, just vote for me. I go, no, they're going to make me do a million things. And she goes, no, 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 it's not. And then, of course, it made me do a million things. So I don't know if I ever voted for her or not. You voted for her. I did, tried. Uh, did she win? I don't know. Oh, okay. I didn't we'll, follow, we'll follow up We'll follow up. We'll follow up on the 24th. What are your books? No. What are these books? <laughs> yes, I brought books. Jesus got books. I brought books. You got your book bag, huh? I got book bag. It's labeled books, so I know what's in there. <laughs> People try to rob it's, me. It's like, it's books. It's, it's books. very yellow. <laughs> uh, I, and blue. I love it. Check this out. Check this out. This is... Check uh, it out. Papa's <gasps> Magical Water Jug Clock. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. camera? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Papa's Magical Water Jug Clock. It's my first book, so it's been out a year. Um, June sixth has been a year, and it's a it's a book. Uh, my first book based on my upbringing, working with my dad. We were talking about yeah. you know, dads earlier, and it's based on a on an inside joke that we had. <laughs> so so my dad, when I was a kid, he used to, he had this huge orange water jug, and he used to tell me that he could tell like what time it was based on how much water was in the jug. And I used to think he had, like, superpowers. I'm like, get out of here. He goes, I know what time it is. And That's you know, when, so like, how I know it's time to go home? When the water's gone. I'm like, no way. So whenever I wanted to go home early, I used to waste water. I used to, like, 
just fill up bowls of water. And I go to my dad, like, hey, no more water. We got to go home. My dad's like, it's 11 a.m. Like, yeah, yeah. We have 13 more houses to mow. Did. I know what you did. Um, so this is a book. And, you know, it has a nice, like, Pixar moment to it. You know, the heart moment, oh which is goodness. like, um, you know, it's like water and time are precious. They shouldn't be wasted, you know. So it's, yeah. like a, it's dedicated to... So my dad and and uh, well my parents you know and yeah yeah uh, but this so one's based on my dad. Your dad had a, a lawn mowing business. Yeah. Uh, like a lot of people. Did he have a lot of employees or? Yes. Really? Uh, no, not a lot of employees. He had like two, on and off, uh, two employees on and off. But he had a lot of houses. So a lot he, of houses. A lot of houses. That's a big so. deal. So my That's dad. Hard to get. It was hard, and I used Listen. to have to go help him. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I at one point I took over the. The landscaping business, Shoot. you know, because my dad couldn't do it no more. And then, and then he came back, and we both did it. And now my dad's retired, but I mean, this is some but good people memories. are territorial, you know. They're like, no, oh, yeah. I've been here. I, I use so and so. I'm loyal, la la la, whatever. So I can't even imagine. And then you're throwing water all over the place. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> water. Um, this book would it's be really hard for Eleanor. Job. The word, the a word, water. <laughs> <laughs> the word water is in here I'm a lot, I'm not having a Eleanor. stroke. No. <laughs> That's how you say it. Water <laughs> jug. It's a fucked up word. Uh, so, yeah, this is it. And, uh, and we were able to get a, a Pearl Bell Prey Award, which is from the American <gasps> Librarian Association. Aww. And I get it at the end of the month. I get to go receive the the honors. Shout out to Eliza Kings, who did the animations. Yeah. And my wife it, did the but, Spanish version. Oh, did she really? Yeah, I love. By the way, I was gonna say that animation is just so adorable. You could see it as a cartoon. You could see it as a show. It's thank you. Yeah, we're you know we're building the world, and then uh, and then look, exclusive. No one. I haven't talked about this with anyone oh, right here. My exclusive. second book. My second book. We got the what's called a dummy copy. Okay. So this is to make sure. What you call me? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Philly in the building, baby. Um, so this is my first book, and um, so I have a second one coming out September 10th. Um, so you uh, you can go order these on Amazon or where you, wherever you get books. Uh, there's a Spanish version called El Barrelito Mágico de Papá. My wife did the translation for that. Oh, I love English it. English and Spanish. And this is exclusive uh, 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 cover reveal. Guys. Cover reveal. Oh, let's the see second it. second book. Ah! And it's uh, my mom. I magnificent. love the animation. Thank you. I love the animation because it just looks so real. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. uh, like, a, like a real person. It, it, it's through the lens of a kid, and right. Uh, that's what I mean. Like, if a kid drew this, but like a maybe a kid with really good skills, because you could see a little. Yeah, but no. like it's still awesome. Like his pencil in his pocket, like little I things love it. like that. It's like so cool. The I love it. I love it. Yeah, no, I... And this one's Mama's Magnific Magnificent, see, the word. The, the word. Dancing. Plantita. Plantita. Plantitas. Yeah, which means plants, plant. you know, and... Um, you can't just say plant? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got but this one's dedicated to my up. late mother, and, and um, um, yeah, you know, she... Um, yeah, she she was she was uh, she was the plant person. Yeah, she obviously. was a plant person, and this one's based on an only child being uh, delegated the jobs of helping my mom raise her plants. So I was a big brother to her plants, Aww. and uh, yeah, it's it's like a cute story. I'm gonna get I'm, I'm gonna get all teary eyed if I keep going, but yeah. check out the book. Check gonna out have the to book. take a lap. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, <laughs> crush the microphone. Sound. By the way, that. <laughs> was my favorite <laughs> so bad but it's such a man thing like when they when they feel like they're welling up yeah and by the way it happened to me like seven times already during yeah. this podcast oh my god but i'm trying to i try to like mask it you know <sighs> i'm getting number and so uh but you did this really beautiful thing for an older comic but at the same time it was kind of annoying you remember a long time oh. ago when they made you go on the road with this person and, yes 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 and then you're you know you get aggravated we we everybody it happens to everybody you get <laughs> aggravated like you know i help take care of my mom right now and i get fucking pissy at the littlest things right yeah. but and then they'll say something that like you're like oh man i didn't fucking yeah and yeah. you're like oh I, feels. Got, I had to take a laugh Oh, gotta take a laugh. Air out the eyes, you know. 
I don't know why it made me laugh so hard, but it always sticks in my head. The every, laugh? Yeah, because every time somebody, I'll be like pissed off at somebody, and then they'll just say like, oh, man, I... The reason you take a lap is so the air can hit you and the tears dry up instead of having to wipe. Yeah, so yeah. wiping shows that you've been crying, so it's like, here, let me run. <laughs> <laughs> let the air hit it. Or just pretend like there's flies around you just, just so you can get the air. So don't show anybody you have emotions. It's yeah, disgusting. Don't show anybody it's you have emotions. It's absolutely disgusting. My dad told me that. Um, this guy right here. Well, I think it's amazing. I think it's beautiful. Thank I'm you proud so of you. Congratulations. So that's September. September 10th. Get the new the book. New book. You can get the original one, Papa's Magical Water Jug Clock. Right now, Amazon, wherever you buy books. And uh, check out uh, Roots of Comedy on PBS. Yes. On the PBS app or the 21st. That is amazing. You're you're the best. You deserve the whole world, to be quite honest. You're one of my favorites. You know that. You're one of my favorites. Thank so you for always don't... being so sweet. And you are, um, yeah, you you are Not a blessing sure. to all the comics here. No. For I'm, sure. Are you just, whatever. And I'm proud of you. And I'm excited to watch the show and vote for it. I'm yes. going to vote. I don't care if you... Even if it's late, it. just cast a vote. You know what I mean? <laughs> we don't know where it goes. Hey man, but... <laughs> we want to write in. We forgot, <laughs> man. Thank you guys so much for having Thank me. Thank you. And don't forget, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And then check out my special, No Country for Old Women, on the Comedy Store YouTube channel. Thanks for that golf clap. Jesus, I love it. And um, What happened to the audience? The guy, they don't give a fuck. Oh, They're there it done is. with me. Over <laughs> oh, it. My God. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're the best.